morning and welcome to training for teaching online in 24 hours. You've probably received a link in your email to the training for teaching online in 24 hours course. This is a self-paced course which you can access anytime, anywhere and complete at your own pace. By the end of 24 hours you will have a fully developed course shell ready to implement. And you can self-enroll it self-enroll in this course as a student if you've never um, have had a course site to count before or you can log in as an enrolled student if you're already enrolled into uh, the course in course sites and of course I am your instructor instructor Miss MacArthur now let's go on to the next section once you've logged in to course sites you will see the first section that you come to is the introduction start here and just go through each of the sections um, at your own pace. You might notice mine is a little bit different because I'm actually logged in as the instructor right now. Your interface will look a wee bit, tiny bit different, but it's no problem. So if you will, just go through each of the items on each of the one, two, three, four, five sections. Um, actually, six, seven. There are two other sections. And I'm going to go through them briefly here with you. Watch the training video, the little introduction. This, the welcome message tells you a little bit more about the training for teaching online 24 hour course. Um, I talk a little bit about why you should enroll and participate in this course. And of course, many folks have asked questions about what's the difference between hybrid or blended or completely online courses. And I also give you a little description on about the lessons, the hours that you will complete. As you can see, the course is broken up into 24-hour sections, which means that, you know, for some of the sections, you might take a full hour or maybe more to complete, or you certainly could go through them, um, take less time, but certainly I would review, uh, you should review each and every hour to make sure you're not missing any information. So after you've completed the introduction start here section, go click on the orientation and overview and here there's a little more in-depth orientation and overview you should click this red button here watch the video and then the next step is for you to go ahead on to hour number one of course you can review the course materials course updates course instructor if you need to get in touch with me um, there are supplemental activities that you might find interesting and useful as well as the discussion board. Please make sure you do participate in the discussion board. Okay, if I click on the course overview, which says click here, it opens up into an additional window which talks about the purposes and objectives of this online course, how this course is organized, how you should proceed as a uh, student in this course, the browser and operating system compatibility, for the computer that you're using, any other browser considerations and browser plugins. Now this is a very important section for you because you are certainly welcome and you should and you are actually required to incorporate this additional information into the course that you create. Obviously purpose and objectives would be your course materials. If you're teaching chemistry or biology you would want to list here the purposes and objectives of your course and this course overview is designed really for students to give them a brief overview of what to expect in your online course okay I'm gonna go on to the next section let's take a moment and look at the syllabus and course materials I've clicked on syllabus and course materials it's taking me to a page which has a folder which has the course materials the assignments and quizzes for training for teaching online in 24 hours and as you can see there are different folders uh, that contain information that may and will certainly be useful to you there is additionally a learning group project um, but since most of you will be completing this course um, on your own the learning group project is optional um, definitely take a look at the journal um, there are opportunities to um, communicate synchronous if you'd like to do that, just contact me and I'll be happy to work with you to demonstrate how to use that feature of Blackboard. Uh, course updates. 
This basically lets you know which uh, about announcements that have been made, um, tasks, what's new, any alerts. And this is primarily pretty much how it would look to your students. Actually, here, let me see. Let me turn edit mode off and you'll see it a little bit more as the students do it. See, now this is exactly how your students see it. And I just click the little edit mode on and off button. Let's see. Next, there's a course instructor. That's information about me and how to get in touch with me and some of the activities that I've participated in. There are supplemental activities um, that you can peruse, browse at your own um, pace, which are very interesting. And there is, of course, a discussion board. Um, one of the first things I'd love for you to do in a discussion board is to introduce yourself, oops, introduce yourself to the group. Um, here's a short starter paragraph, and you can simply just copy and paste this information and just fill in the blanks if you'd like, or you can, of course, um, do a little write-up about yourself. Just, your short introduction is something you're going to do the first hour of first hour in this course so that it alerts me that you're actually participating in the online course. Another option in, uh, another item actually in the discussion board uh, in training for teaching online in 24 hours is I'd love for everyone to um, log in, create a free account in Coursera. Review some of the courses there and, you know, take a look at them and see how other folks are setting up courses. Coursera is one of the really interesting, um, groundbreaking online training uh, learning management systems. And it, they have very good examples of how to organize online course content. And once you've browsed through these different sections here in Training for Teaching Online in 24 hours, click go ahead and click on hour number one. And as you can see, it asks you to introduce yourself in the discussion board. Uh, contact me if you have if you require any additional assistance. Assistance. And here is going to be another little video on how to browse through this course. And then I give you a little more information about the discussion board forums. And by the time you get to hour twenty four, you will be done. You will have added looked at some supplemental readings, added additional elements to your course if necessary, and that's primarily all it is to it. There is to it. There are some other items here. Of, you won't see the control panel, um, but there's help for students, help for instructors. There's more teaching resources, video lectures, iTunes U at Tuskegee. Uh, everything is fairly self-explanatory. However, if you have questions, Feel free to contact me. I'm happy to help you. And good luck in developing your online and blended course. And have a great day. Thank you for watching.